everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video i continue working on my zodiac doll collection and right now in the end of august it's time for a virgo doll i can tell you honestly it wasn't that easy to find a concept for a virgo doll we we're discussing it with my mom for a quite a long time and we we're even discussing for a while making a nun doll because you know virgo girl supposed to be very clean very innocent you know very pure and that's why after very long thinking i've ended up with the concept of making a bright doll because you know a white bride with a big white dress is of course an embodiment and impersonation of this you know very clear very innocent girl and as a model for this transformation i have decided to take this abby doll i know it's maybe not such an obvious choice but you know what everyone including me is customizing draculaurus frankies cleos and probably claudine's that's it and the rest of the dolls who are maybe a little bit more original a little bit maybe less cute i mean like less dollish cute they don't have that much attention from us from doll customizers so today for this gorgeous wedding transformation i've decided to take this a little bit you know forgotten poor abby doll and my goal for today is to turn her into a really stunning beautiful woman into an absolutely gorgeous bride to show everyone that abby also deserves attention she also can be pretty because of course everyone is thinking like oh yeah her jaw is a little bit too massive and i'm going for a cute repaint or i'm going to take laguna you know she's always cute no today i'm going to take this doll and i'm going to show everyone that abby is very pretty so i'm going to start my transformation like always with taking her clothes off then i'm going to cut her hair very short and meanwhile you can take a second and subscribe to my channel i'm torturing dolls here on youtube every week friday so let's start working <laughs> I use like usually my hair dryer to make the rubber hat soft and to melt the glue inside of the hat and just after about two minutes of blowing with hot air I can disconnect the hat from the body and then with my tweezers I can remove the rest of the hair from the inside of the hat. And this time I have a lot of nasty glue inside. Look at me struggling with these chunks of the year, really. And after this I can take pure acetone and I remove her original makeup. I 
I have already for a while in my stock this beautiful Andromeda nylon hair. I think this color is so unique and so pretty. It's this silver color with a little lilac undertone. I think it will be ideal for our gorgeous and classy bride. Now I'm going to cover her head with a couple of layers of light grey acrylics matching the hair color and then I'm going to take my rerouting tool and I will give her the new hair. Well, a couple of hours later I get this beautiful result. Now I still need to put some tacky glue inside of the hat to keep all this new hair in its place. And while the glue is drying, let's work a little bit on her body. It's covered, like all the Abbey bodies, with a thick layer of some, I don't know, glittery frost, how to call it. And the only safe way to remove it is to sand it off completely with some nail buffers or with sanding paper. And of course my bright is not going to be blue, I'm going to mix a couple of colors together to create some, you know, neutral, light nude skin tone color. And it's one of my favorite steps actually, I feel like I'm creating my own skin foundation right now. And then I cover the head and the body with a couple of layers of this acrylic mix. After this, when the paint gets completely dry, I can start drawing the face using my Faber Castell Albrecht Durer and Carandash Super Color Soft watercolor pencils. And to prepare the surface to be able to draw on it, I use like always Mr. Super Clear sealant. I think I'm going to give her a very classic makeup. I will give her quite nude eyes, just a little bit shadows and an eyeliner, plus a stunning red lipstick. And I use like always my Rembrandt and Faber Castell soft pastels to add contouring and shadowing to her face.
Now let's also blush the body using the same pastels because the face and the body, you know, they're supposed to look the same, of course. Okay, now I can remove this protection from her hair and I'm going to clean her hairline. You can see all this Mr. Super Clear with some paint, it all goes easily off. And for her hairstyle, I've decided to choose also a little bit less obvious option and I'm going to give my doll a very high ponytail right on the top of her head. But first of all, I want this hair to hang a little bit down and for this I'm using my hair dryer again. You see, it looks already pretty cool, I think, and now I still want to give her some pretty curls. Wow, it looks really stunning, I think. I really love her hairstyle today. Then I can attach the false lashes and to add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips to finish up her look. And after this we can actually move on to the outfit and to the accessories. This time I've asked my mom to make a real fairy tale dress for my doll, really something like a Cinderella wedding dress. So let's take a look now at her work in progress video and then we'll see the end result. And by the way, I have a surprise for everyone who asked my mom to make some outfits for sale. Together with this wedding dress, my mom has made a couple of different dresses and I will show you them in the end of this video after the final photo shoot. And I will also tell you where you can buy them, so keep watching till the end.
So when this is the finished outfit, it looks absolutely gorgeous, I think. Just look at this underskirt, it's so pretty, I think, with all these layers, really super cute. And the dress is also absolutely gorgeous with this decoration on the waist and with this deep shoulder line, really very pretty. And then my mom has also made a bunch of flowers for the bride. I think it's very elegant and it completely fits the style. And here she has also made a pair of earrings for her. So, and now let's complete this outfit with accessories. And first of all, I want to make a wedding ring for her using a tiny piece of warble material. I warm it up with a hair dryer to make it soft. And then I form a ring around a piece of thick wire. After this I cover it with silver acrylics and then I add a touch of glitter to the middle of the ring. And after this, I also want to customize a pair of shoes for my bride. So now let's put it all together and then we will finally take a look at the end result pictures. And here is my super elegant and extremely classy Virgo bride. I think my mission has been very successfully accomplished. I could turn a less popular doll into a real beauty from a real wedding fashion magazine. And we also wanted to make a very traditional classy bride already for a very long time with my mom. So I'm very happy we have ended up with this idea for a Virgo doll. And now I want finally, finally, to wish the very happy birthday to all my Virgo people here. Please tag yourself in the comments, let's see how many Virgos we have here. I wish you lots of inspiration and creativity in your life and just enjoy your month, enjoy your day. But first of all, don't forget to tell me what you think about this doll. I'm always curious what different zodiac signs are thinking about their dolls. But now it's time for my mom creations. What do you think? Many of you have asked her to make some outfits for sale. So, she has finally made something for you. And we're going to start with three dresses this time. And if we see that people really want them, my mom will 
so some more outfits for sale maybe more regularly and so here are the outfits i'm going to start with the most gorgeous one because it fits the topic of the video and this is such an original wedding dress instead of a traditional veil my mom has made a beautiful lace cape miss dark lolita has friendly agreed to demonstrate this dress for us So you can see it has three layers skirt, the top one is lace, then is the layer of natural silk, the white one, and then there is a gorgeous underskirt, I'm really a huge fan of this underskirt as well. Yeah, I think it's a very pretty dress and it's also a very original one. I've asked Miss Cinderella to demonstrate the two other dresses and the first one I've called the mix of Pocahontas and Moana because the colors are very natural and it's also a very very soft cotton material and I also love the trim on the bottom and all these ornaments I think it's also a very original one and it can be used for many different looks and styles so I'm really a fan of this dress and the third one is a pink lolita dress it's exactly the same like my dark lolita dress we made for my doll with two faces and this one has exactly the same design but it's made out of this pink magenta fuchsia cotton fabric it's a very cute dress that can be still decorated some more with all kinds of accessories and used for a lolita doll or not just for a lolita for any cute doll and the socks are also absolutely adorable i think so all these dresses together with our Virgo Bride doll from today, they are all available on eBay for three days right now. And I will put the links into the description box like always. And also please guys, let us know what do you think about these dresses release? Do you need them? Should we make more? Because we absolutely don't know what you're gonna think about it. So we need some feedback from you. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it today. If so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and I will see you already very soon next week Friday in a new doll repaint video. Love you guys. Bye!